Well, hello and a very well warm welcome back to the Andrew Eborn Show with me, Andrew Eborn, and I'm joined yet again by the Radio Lawrence himself, the wonderful Mike Reed. How are we doing, Mike? I'm fine. Why are you such a good colour? I mean, we've all been locked down forever and it's been winter. You look as though you've been to Barbados or somewhere. Ah, uh, well, I have virtually. I've had all, I think that's what you get. You get sort of passive, passive suntan. It looks good. Uh, I, I visit people via this wonderful in the Zoom and we, we get reflected sun glow, I guess, in a, in a certain way. I don't know. It looks, hang on, two seconds. Uh, no, 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 it hasn't come off. Uh, no, no, it doesn't it, come off. No, it's, it's, it's my natural thing. I think walking around Regent's Park of a morning, it is glorious. And spring has sprung. So a little bit of colour in your cheeks is, uh, is not so bad. Spring has sprung, the grass is riz. I wonder where the birdies is. They say the bird is on the wing, but no, that's the zoid. The wing is on the boyd. Hey, hey, I love it. There's a bonus one everywhere. I'm talking about sensational headlines. It's so good to get away from the traditional news, the doom and the gloom as we enter the room on Zoom. What I love is the story for me, one of the most recent stories, is all about shrimps. Tell me about that story. Uh, yeah, well, I won't tell you the story because otherwise I'll spoil the poem. Uh, as I didn't on the thing, I just sort of went into it and people thought, oh, where's this going? You know, really heavy news story. And it turned out to be, uh, you know, something very small. But it is just amazing how uh, something very inconsequential can suddenly make global news for no reason. There's, there's something weirdly inherent in us is that there's so much heavy news going on. Maybe we just delight in the trivia now and again, just want something absolutely stupid. Uh, you know, I, I was listening to, um, we had a couple of Weetabix ads on this morning on, on my program. And it's the first time I'd laugh for ages because people often aren't inventive. Uh, they just sort of do something. And they were very creative. And this guy saying, um, this builder's knocking away. And there's my you said, have, you, um, have you finished my city? He said, yeah, all done, governor, all done. He said, what, in a day? He said, yeah, yeah. He said, what, the whole of Rome? Yeah, yeah, all finished, governor. He said, oh, just a bit of grouting around the Colosseum to do, you know, and it actually made me laugh out loud. And I thought, it's, we like something like that, something silly, you know, in a time where everything is like a bit doom and gloom, as you say, we, uh, we do we're, like we're, to we're laugh. We're desperate, we're desperate for those feel-good stories. Well, without giving the story away, I'll, I'll go straight into the radio log. We'll discuss it afterwards. It's over to you with Global News, uh, the Radio Laureate. <laughs> A heavy news day, so hey, the main talk in New York will make you titter. It was trending on Twitter, and then it made CNN, and the media lit the fuse, and it was on Fox News, and even a few lines in the New York Times, and the infernal Wall Street Journal. Quick, check the deadline. Here's the latest headline. Yes, stop press. What's the news that's gripped the nation? Well, to be brutally frank, it's a dead crustacean. What, a new species, one of the prehistoric species? No, nothing so exciting. It's more the size of a small raw whiting. Is it a bejeweled langoustine caught by prospectors in a mountain stream? No, the sea creature that's sending the nation frantic is not in the least romantic, nor the king of the Atlantic. This crustacean's a bit of a wimp. It's nothing more than a small dead shrimp. So why is that a headline? Why the hue and cry? Shrimps are born and shrimps will die. Ah, but this one is celebrated most because some guy found it in his cinnamon toast. Man buys bag of cereal, chews, finds dead shrimp and gets the blues. Takes a photo, several views, and the shrimp ends up as global news. It was an absolutely incredible story. And I, I don't know if you've seen the picture, but the guy who took it is actually a comedian and a podcaster, whatever they are, one of us, I guess, uh, in, in New York. And what he was doing, he was basically uh, taking a picture of this thing. And his name is Jensen Karp, of all things. So he's got his, and he's married his girlfriend, or his partner is Danielle Fischel who um, is wonderful. So it's all fish, it's glorious. It could write itself, this stuff. And, and she was um, Topanga in something called Boy Meets Girl, that wonderful series. So it's all fish and carp and that sort of stuff. But what was interesting was the reaction when he wrote to the wonderful people that make this, um, uh, this wonderful cereal. 
Uh, they, he sort of said, no, well, no, it's a, a cluster of cinnamon things together. It's not, not fishtails at all. And so he then got into this Twitter row with them, saying, look, it's clearly shrimp tails. It's not a cluster of cinnamon together. And the, these pictures are trending on Twitter. And the whole world has taken it. And they're following this extraordinary saga. Yeah, I mean, clearly, there's something you said. If you want PR, that's what to do. I'm actually thinking of uh, getting my crunchy nut cornflakes and putting a small alligator in there uh, and saying, oh my God, look what's in my cornflakes. You know, a bit of snap, crackle and pop in there, all right. But no, you could, couldn't you? You could put anything in there, really, and say, look what I found in there. I mean, then they've got to contest it. And uh, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I might do that. I, don't expect I might that, yes. get my crunchy nut cornflakes out, if you'll excuse the expression. Yeah. And I might put something sinister in there. A small model of Andrew Eborn. Oh, no, no, there's no such thing as a small one. I tell you what, they're all enormous. But oh, I used to love those days when you used to get, we don't get them anymore, do you? You used to get little things and buy cereal packets just for the stuff inside. Yeah, and hygienically, of course, you'd put your hand, when you hadn't washed it as a kid, <laughs> right down inside the packet and rummage around through the entire packet to find the plastic cowboy. You know, and if, now you you think, what a minute, you can't just put your hand in a packet and rummage around when it's dirty. I mean, extraordinary. Yeah, we'd all go for the toy. And it was generally a toy you wouldn't have bought yourself, but it was free. That was the great thing. You know, <laughs> kids love all that. It's the brilliant, Mark. It's the way buy, people buy magazines, why they go to certain fast food shops and things like that. It's all about the, the extra, the bit you think you're getting for free. Yeah. Uh, absolutely right. I, I'm going to do the thing with my cereal. I'm going to find a, a suitable, evil-looking reptile. I won't use you. It's okay. Um, I'll find something evil and put it into my uh, flakes. I won't name them, obviously, because it would be it would be the wrong thing to do. But some flakes, unknown flakes, and put something and say, "Look what I found in my cereal." Uh, a, a good idea. And you're right. I mean, the reason it sort of made headline news, I reckon, is people are so desperate, as we say, for a, a good story away from all the tragedy that we're doing. And, and it was that row, because what happened is he then got in, Jensen, Jensen Carp, got into this big row with these people. So they were saying it was a cluster, a cluster of cinnamon sugar. It wasn't uh, a little fish tails, little shrimp tails at all. And then he posted these pictures and they clearly looked like shrimp tails to me. And then they turned around and said, well, actually, if you send them back to us, uh, we'll analyze them for you. And he refused to do that because he thought they would tamper with them. Well, they might've thought that he'd already tampered with them. So who knows? I mean, I think the answer is, you know, you should go and buy a bag of shrimps and put a piece of cinnamon toast in there and go, oh, look what I found on my shrimps. A piece of cinnamon toast, extraordinary. I, I demand my money back yeah, and an extra right shrimp. Too. Quite right too, the serial killer, they could call him. It should be working on that sort of headline stuff. Anyway, it was a glorious moment. We did enjoy it. I love the fact that he was called Carp. His girlfriend is called Fischl. It's gonna be good. It's all about shrimp tails. It's gonna be brilliant and it's gonna run and run and run. We've hit rock bottom. You're right off the scale, Andrew. Hey, hey, towing the line and all those other gems. It's all going to yeah. be good. Mike all Reed, real, all real. All real them in. <laughs> it's going to be good. Uh, Mike Reed, Radio Laureate, thank you for joining us. Love your hook. <laughs> hey, bye-bye. So, an extraordinary story. We love these extraordinary stories. It will run and run and run. Um, we don't quite yet know the final conclusion. I know everybody was sending it off to test the samples. If you do know or would like to take part in the discussions, write to me at guests at octopustv.com. That's guests at octopustv.com. Don't forget, you can follow me at Andrew Eborn at Octopus TV, and you can subscribe. Do it now. It's free. I love it. Favourite four-letter word for everybody. Uh, but for me for now, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.